If you're a nonprofit, you're looking to have the biggest impact with your website, but you might have a very little or no budget whatsoever, and you might be lacking in technical what? expertise. They're issues that get brought up to us kind of over and over again. So today I am going to look to solve those problems. I'm going to show you the best WordPress plugins that I've tested that I think are going to be great for a nonprofit website with the criteria that they must be free or there at least is a free version available and that they must be user friendly, beginner friendly, shall we say. So no code. We're going to start by looking at some plugins that do the thing that is potentially most important to nonprofits, and that is give you the ability to collect donations. My favorite plugin for this is Charitable. So let's have a look at that. Now, Charitable, what we can do is we can head across here to plugins and just to add new plugin. This doesn't have to be complicated at all because Charitable has a free option, and that means that the charitable plugin is in the WordPress WordPress plugins repository and you can download it straight from there with no issues whatsoever. So from here, we can just head across to search plugins and we can look for charitable. And there it is. All you're going to have to do is click on install now and activate it and it is good to go. It's going to appear in the feed on the left hand side here in the sidebar and we can just click straight into it and go to the dashboard. From here, I just wanna show you how easy it is to create a campaign. So we're just gonna click here to do that. And now if you want a full breakdown of how Charitable itself works and how to set up a website for a nonprofit, then please get subscribed to the channel because we have one of those videos coming soon. And when it's available, I will link it at the end of this one. I just wanna show you some of the key features of the free version of Charitable so that you get a good idea of why this might work for you. Once we've clicked on add new, you're gonna get this box here, which is create campaign. So we can decide what that campaign is going to be for. So let's name it. We're gonna name this one computers for schools because I, I have a gadgets or tech website here that I am creating this charitable campaign on. So I just again, click create campaign. So this is what I meant about it being easy and no code required. Everything is kind of built up for you just in terms of it's going to give you a template that you can use. Now there is a pro version of charitable, which gives you more options, but we are focused on free today. So we're just going to select a template that we like the look of. I'm just going to try this one here. So this is what the template is going to give you, which looks great, but obviously has nothing to do with what you want. The beauty here being all you have to do is click on any of the elements and you can quite simply adjust them. So I have this description that I want to use instead. So I now have that. And then I can change the headline absolutely perfect. And you can see how unbelievably easy this is. I can now head across to this image and I can adjust that. The beauty being with this is that I can actually just upload one from my media library that's already there. It's just making everything really, really simple. Just to show you a couple of other things you can do really easily. If you don't particularly like this color scheme, that's nice and easy to change as well. I'm going to change it out to this nice blue there. It's a little bit more friendly, shall we say. And then we can go through and add all kinds of different elements and change them. The progress bar, for example, which will allow us, here we go, to show people how far along towards our goal we are. And you can see just how easy it is to add any of these elements. So social sharing, so we want people to be able to connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, X, then we just drag and drop it into place and Charitable will place it there for us. It's really, really easy. So once we're happy with the way it looks, I'm just going to show you what you can do in terms of setting up how it works behind the scenes. So you can set your goal here, let's say 
$1,000. You can obviously change that to whatever currency you want and looking for an end date as well. Now, there are options where you can connect to your email marketing service, which can be very powerful, but they are only available with the pro plans. You can see them just here. However, payments, and this for me is a huge deal when it comes to setting this up and how easy it can be, is it comes inbuilt with both Stripe and PayPal. So obviously you can just enable your PayPal and you can just enable your Stripe and you're going to be able to immediately accept payments. It really is that simple. Once we're happy with that, we're going to save it and let's take a look at the preview of the page to see what it's actually going to look like. And here we've got a preview of what this would look like on our website. It's exactly as we designed and essentially that only took a couple of clicks. It's really powerful, really easy to use. And it's definitely going to help you get more donations. So once you're happy with your campaign page, you can come to your dashboard and you can see what's been going on with your campaign. You can see which donations in the last seven days, how you're tracking against your goal, how many people have actually donated. Again, really powerful and useful stuff to look at behind the scenes. Charitable for its ease of use, its effectiveness, and kind of its must have for being able to accept donations is my number one pick for a WordPress plugin to really power up your non-profit website. I am gonna show you a couple more ways of how you can accept payments from other really great plugins. So let's have a look at those. Next up, we're gonna look at a really versatile plugin that can also accept payments. And that is gonna be WP Forms. Now, WP Forms, I would recommend for pretty much all websites because of its versatility and what you can do with it. But we can accept payments with it. So let's just have a quick look at that. So you can see my WP Forms has a few forms already active, but we're just gonna create a new one with add new. Again, we've got a whole bunch of templates here that are gonna make our life a lot easier. So we are gonna look for the variable donation form just here. And you can see that we immediately have a form made for us that we can just embed into a page super easily. Again, you can contact, you can connect it to marketing if you go for the upgraded plan. And for payments, you already have Stripe built in as well. So again, it's all set up and ready to go in order for you to receive those donations. So with about four clicks, I have managed to generate this form. This is what it would look like on my website. And you have your card details down here in the non-preview version. It's really, really simple. That's just another way that you can accept donations, but you don't have to just use it for donations. It's a forms plugin, so your options are really endless. If you're looking for people to maybe volunteer and you're looking to get their information so you can contact them, then you can have a form built for that. If you've got a newsletter that you want people to sign up for, there's a template that will create you a form for that. It's all really straightforward and super easy to use. Again, here you go, newsletter sign up form. And so not only are you gonna be able to accept the payments with this, there's a whole plethora of things and benefits to all websites, including of course, nonprofits that we're looking at today. So uh, WP Forms comes right near the top of my recommended list and one for you to check out. Next up, we wanna take a look at a really simple payments plugin, again, so that you can accept those donations. And that is gonna be WP Simple Pay. With WP Simple Pay, you have really great reporting, similarly to what you could see with Charitable, and we can just create a new payment form really simply. We've just gone to add new, and we can just create a single donate button. And we can put this on any page that we want to. So with this being the free version of WP Simple Pay, there are a few elements that you can't do. For example, right here, you can't have an on-site uh, checkout with Stripe. You have to go off-site for that, but it's not the biggest deal. And if you are just looking for something really simple, like a donate button on a page, then WP Simple Pay is a really great option. Let's have a quick look at what that can potentially look like. And this is literally it. You're gonna generate this donate button, which we can put into any page. And if you're wondering what that might look like on a page, now you can amend this however you see fit. But right there, you just have a donate button, which we can press and it immediately takes us through so that the donation 
can be made. And you can see this is a dedicated donation page, which I quite like because it essentially removes all distraction and it's more likely for somebody to make that donation once they've clicked on the button rather than coming away from it. And that's something I want to talk about next. I want to talk about being able to keep people and get a higher conversion rate. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna use this plugin, Optin Monster, and we're gonna create a brand new campaign. We've got a really easy to use wizard that's going to help us out here. Again, Optin Monster has multiple purposes. You can potentially use it in order to boost your sales, but you could also use it to boost your leads. You could use it to boost your email list which in turn in future could help boost your sales. It's a very versatile product and the whole idea being to get people to click, to use the website the way you want and to not abandon it, not go elsewhere. So the campaign types that you can have, you can see there's different types of pop-up. This is how Optin Monster works. It works with pop-ups on the screen, which are proven to be super effective. So I'm just gonna go with the standard pop-up for now. And then over here, I'm actually gonna look for a specific template. Again, templates to make it super easy for you. And I'm gonna look for this one here, the get more volunteers. I'm gonna use this template. Just gonna name the campaign here join us and start building. And as you can see, you've got two options here. Here, I'm really trying to focus on as a nonprofit, how are you gonna get people to come and help you get volunteers? But this can be used for increasing donations if you want to build a pop-up that works in that way. Now, immediately, I think this looks pretty good, but we can start to adjust and amend it. So if we want to change that image, we can do so. We can amend this text in terms of color and what's there, and we can add the links. You can see, I'd rather make a donation. So we're actually combining the two together. We're asking people to volunteer or alternatively make a donation. You can also see that there's elements that you can add really easily. So we can add a countdown. So maybe there's a limited amount of time that you're looking for that and then you can amend the countdown. There really are a quite endless number of options to customize this to exactly how you want. So let's stick with this for now and have a look at how it looks on a page. And there we have it. That is the pop-up that I have set to pop up immediately on my home screen. So as I refresh that page, this comes up in the middle and you can immediately click to like to volunteer and that'll take you through so that you can enter your details or I'd rather make a donation and that will take you through so that you can make that donation instead. So you can actually see how this is going to be able to work together with some of those other plugins that I've already shown you. You can put that together with Charitable or WP Simple Pay and you can put it together with WP Forms. So it's not like you just have to pick one of these. They're all free and combining them together is actually what's going to give you the most impact and the most success. Also worth noting that when your campaign is running, you can get some really great analytics off Optin Monster telling you how well your campaign is running and that allows you to optimize for what you're going to do in the future and how you're going to run. And that kind of data and analytics can be incredibly useful for maximizing what you're getting out of each individual campaign. And if we apply that to something like SEO, which is absolutely critical, we need to look at another plugin that's going to help you maximize your SEO. We're going to look at all-in-one SEO. If you want to check out the video on that, click this video right here.